Hi guys, my name is UF and I want to show you this. The Unistack, an in-game adjustable uh, VR gun stack for pretty much all games and all guns. I will quickly show you the uh, features of the gun stack and we'll go to the gameplay. Let's start with the handles. First of all, uh, big thanks uh, to Noob for creating his gun stack. It's perfect. The cups for the handles are just, just perfect. Thanks very much. So the Unistack is the magnetic gun stack that offers a bit more. User can adjust the main three crucial points at his will while in the game. Just operating with uh, screws and a few other um, clever me mechanisms while always staying in the same straight line. Now, this is the advantage in the games like Pavlo, where you cannot actually, you know, change the positions for the gunstack in-game, like in the contractors, but contractors also are not perfect. So with Unistack, what you can do is you can switch between assault rifles through SMGs, you can go like this, then you can go through snipers, which goes a little bit higher than assault, like this, and what's most fun for me, heavy machine guns. In this position you're gonna rock. Now thanks to the uh, rail feature you can use it as a pump shotgun and also you can add a retraction system with a rubber gun here. This gun stack also has um, a permanent lock system that enables you to lock it firmly so you can actually block your, your gun stack against, against your arm firmly and if I like to use my left hand to throw a grenade for example I just click it to the left and I can throw it away of course this one is to, for the right handers I'm a left handed you will see how it's gonna how it's gonna look like in game in a few seconds the cool feature about this gun stack is that you can move your butt in whatever position you want you want to have it at this at this time you can lock your butt stack with the, those two screws and have them on the permanent position like you want. Okay then, let's play. All right guys, so here we are at the uh, Pavlov shooting range and uh, I will show you how to uh, operate the um, Unistack. So we will start with an um, uh, assault rifle with L4 and this will be our base for uh, later setups. Uh, I will be using Holosight uh, for two reasons. First, because I like it, and second, because it gives a little bit more height to the guns in Pavlov for particular guns. So we start with this one. Okay, so now we have to set up the distance between the dominant hand and the arm. So what we do is we are having this loose, and now uh, we want to find, let's go all the way to the bottom, and we want to find our perfect sight. So it's higher, and this gun is like this. So you've heard a click, I lift it up for the position. Now I can screw it in, and it's gonna lock the, with the teeth system. And now we can set up a distance how far you want, how, how far you want to have it uh, be, uh, from the arm to the gun. So I, so I like to have it a little bit, a little bit uh, further, like this, or like this. Check little bit closer, oh, perfect, and then screw it together. So now we have a setup um, for the um, M4, and I know, I know you cannot see it because this is for, uh, for left-handers, but I have a perfect sight with my perfect uh, you know, distances throughout all the guns. Okay, so let's, let's try another gun. Let it be a shotgun. Uh, so the shotgun in Pavlov has uh, pretty much the same uh, view as uh, assault rifles So I have it pretty much like I want it. Now let's turn on the pumping. So I'm unscrewing the, the screw and it's supposed to be loose. I have the um, small amount of rubber gum just to know where, where, it, go, where it goes. You can uh, give more, more pressure to it and then you can use the button to lock your handle. So let's try. So sometimes um, the um, uh, magnets are not enough and you want to lock them more in the position, then you're just locking it in the permanent lock. 
then you can pump it like you wish. Of course, then you unlocking it with the pinky pinky finger. So important thing is here to to have it unlock easily, easier than the lock the locking system. And when unlocking, you're just using the pinky finger, and it's okay. Okay, for next gun we're gonna go with the heavy machine gun with uh, the hollow side on top. So if you would like to use it in this shape, this is what you're gonna see. It's way too high. You're gonna have to lift your head up way above. So what we are going to do is we're gonna turn over the butt. Let's check how it looks like now. It's, a it's even a little bit too high for me. I still have to go reach. So now we have two, two options. If we don't want to uh, switch between um, M4 or shotgun um, and stay with this position on this lock, we can slide the buttstock up. It's pretty tight, but it's supposed to be. And now uh, we can lean a little bit further. So this is one solution. I have it. Unlock it for, for shotgun. Okay. So this is one solution, but the preferable for actually for, for heavy is going with the, with the settings up because it's you're gonna see, I mean, I hope you will see because the rendering is only on the right, right eye, but it's not my fault. So I'm, I went up with two, uh, two clicks and I'm moving back a little bit with um, uh, my stack. I mean, let's go all the way, or maybe with a little bit. And then let's see, and I wanna slide it back. Yeah. And now I have a perfect sight for a heavy machine gun. Ah, the feeling is amazing. Also, there is this feeling when you're holding the big gun that you're holding something heavy in game. Because, you know, the, the trigger hand is lower than normal gun. And you can even lock your forehand so you can block it against the arm with your first hand. And then, you know, the heaviness is just much, much more feelable. Nah. Beautiful. Okay, I, I'm gonna quickly show you the SMG. Uh, for, the, for the SMG, I would like to go low with my butt, butt stack and close to my first hand, like this. Let's see if this is okay. Maybe a bit higher, like this. And let's see how it looks like with the hand. Of course, we are unscrewing it. Going closer. Locking. A little bit too hard. I want to get like this. All right, and now we're gonna go with the handle a little bit back. Like this. And we have a SMG setup. It's fun. Okay, so the last one is snipers. So it's pretty much similar to the rifles, but with a little bit one or two clicks higher. So let's pick up the sniper. Let's check. Yeah, I'm gonna need to go one or two clicks higher. Let's do this. One is enough. Yep. Lock it. Lock it, unlock it, back it up, lock it, check it, way too far with the locking. Check. Damn it. One more click. One more screw, and there it is. Yep. Yep. Okay, so pretty much this is it. I would like to guys remind you about the giveaway. Uh, I will be giving away uh, the gun stack for a right handers. This one is for the left hands. So this one is to give away. 
there are a few more upgrades uh, it, to which I want to do uh, for the next version. That's why this ready printed um, um, gun stack will go to somebody who will share the video, like the video, maybe type some comment. Yeah, see you guys. Ah, and I will reveal uh, who won it uh, when the Mark 1 will be ready. Sometime next month, maybe. Okay, bye.